Well, hello. Uh, welcome to the Underneath My House. Uh, in front of you is where my Thomas collection is stored. There's multiple tubs deep going to the back corner there. Uh, my Lightning McQueen collection only resides in three tubs. It's relatively small. Uh, you know, there's things from the past, so a bit of a bygone era. Remember why that's got burnt marks on it? The good old days, hey? Uh, tubs like this, uh, I've got that in it, maybe you can read those signs there, but this is the one I'm after for this video. There is one thing that I'm after in this tub here, and hopefully I've got it, uh, but I'm going to have to do a bit of a search. In this tub here is basically my private collection of trains that my daughter and my son and I play with. Well, yes, I'll admit I play with these trains, uh, but I'm willing to give uh, one of them up, hopefully which is in here, for someone who I met at a train show. I do, so I'll have to uh, take this tub out and uh, empty it out on the table. It's probably seeming like a bit of a mysterious video, this one, isn't it, up to this point? I'm uh, hoping that I've got uh, what I've been asked to find in this tub. I've got to empty it out. Here they come! Woo! Very much a trip back in the French time. Yeah, and actually the thing I'm looking for is right here. Mm, okay. So I'm hoping that we all understand this is Henry, the character from Thomas and Friends. Henry is the green number three engine and I bumped into someone at the St. Luke's train show and they asked me for one thing. There's a lovely little boy called Nathan and he said, Leo, do you have a Trackmaster classic, Henry? Uh, but unfortunately I got a sneaky suspicion yeah, this is actually a Tomy one. See that there? Tomy. Now, I'm quite happy to let this go, and Nathan's query about Henry was a very important one to me because it had me looking very carefully at my Thomas and Friends collection. Now, do I have another Henry of this style, or should I say this era of train? And if I look around here, look very carefully, we're looking for something green, and I don't think they ever released a blue version of Henry. We might get into that subject a bit later on. I seem to have this Percy curse. Everywhere I look around, I thought I got rid of all my Percys. Wow. I seem to build up Percy numbers really fast, but as for finding another Henry here, look at the small Percys over here. I can't see one. I'm having a very good look there. Just one more sweep at the camera. There's just the one Henry in the center there. That Henry looks like it's the only one I've got, and it's going to a very nice person. Okay, to satisfy the Percy fans, I have pulled the Percy's out into a lineup here so you can take a look at them. There they are there. We don't want to really look at Percy's in this video. Mind you, those two remote control ones are rather nice looking. They've got a rather curious face on them. It's not about Percy this video. Good night, Percy. It's all about Henry's. And I will next, I will give this Henry a test run, make sure it works. And I'll pack all these toys carefully back in the box. Well, there on screen is one Tommy Henry. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. I'm going to make sure it's nice and tidy by the time I hand this over to the new owner. I don't think I ever purchased this toy. I think it came in via the charity shop, and I say that because it looks like it's had a repair down in the area where they often fail. I can't remember exactly how everything turns up at my place. I will check the battery area, and because I've been looking after this Henry, there's no battery left in there. So it was nice and clean in there. Without doing an ad for that, the battery company there and covering it up with my finger there. I'll get a battery in there, but I will check for fluff and dust around the axles before I turn Henry on. And while I'm under here inspecting for dust, it says 1993 Tomy there. Tomy made in Thailand. And if we go up to the top here, it gives us another date here. Ghislaine Thomas Limited 2002. So that would have been right at the end of the era of these toys. And with these Tommy trains, and with most toy trains, uh, what you'll see, if it's been running on carpets and things, there'll be fluff and dust caught up on the axles here. But this one is actually looking to be in pretty good nick. I can see a bit of fluff there, and I'm, I'm using my lovely dental tools here. I think I wanted to be a dentist in life now. I love using their tools. They've got very fancy tools, and I hope I can get that fluff out. There it is there, okay? And this can build up, and what it does, it actually hampers the performance of the engine. So I'll get all that out. Another area where these engines have trouble is the traction tyres. They can deteriorate, and they can also slip on the wheels, and then you'll have basically no performance. But these traction tyres uh, seem like they are in pretty good condition. 
I'm a bit curious to see what's going on inside here, so I'll just quickly crack the top off this Henry here. And maybe I've uh, bitten off more than I can chew here. <laughs> There's some weights in there. Look at that there. Henry's really got some secrets going on in there. And some gears and stuff. I hope I can get all this back together now. And while I have got it open here, there's actually some more dust that I'll uh, remove. But I'll tell you what, it's uh, pretty clean. I've seen far worse than this. And it's a matter of me uh, hoping the planets can line up here and get some nice positive movements here. <laughs> get the screws back in and hopefully Henry still works. And I'll just get this final screw in here in the rebuild of Henry here after the clean out. And it's just reminded me how uh, complex and different inside here is versus Trackmaster 2 of today. And uh, make sure Henry still works. Phew! I'm glad of that. And Henry is a runner. And maybe the nice thing to do would be to give Henry a bit of a spin here. Oh, a bit of an untidy start. But away we go. Oh yes, looking nice. And it might take a while for Henry to be happy because he has been in a box all so quiet for such a long time. Now, I dare say there are a lot of people who miss that whirring sound of the Tomy and the Trackmaster Classic trains had. And there'll be a lot of people who've never experienced that. I can see Henry is doing quite well now and the turntable started to slow up. We can start to see the natural speed of this train. Hmm, very nice indeed, isn't it? Well, that there on screen is a Trackmaster 2. Henry, this is my personal one. Uh, it was extremely difficult to find this, and to find more of these is even more so. Let me give this a spin on the tracks here without having a Henry collision going on. Okay, and in theory, it should catch up to the Tommy Henry. And sure enough, it's getting closer and closer and closer, and it's going to give the nudge there and give uh, the Tommy Henry a bit of a power boost. Go, Henry's go! Yes, the whirringness uh, of the Tommy one's gone away because, well, the Track Master 2 Henry is doing a bit of work for the Tommy Henry. But there's one thing I'm sure you'll agree with me here that Tommy Henry there looks far nicer than the Track Master 2 Henry. Let's just come around to the Track Master 2 Henry, which has got a little bit more detailing there, but I don't know, the shape just doesn't do it for me. The Track Master 2 designs, they all look a little bit too similar to me. Going back to the Tommy Henry, yeah, so I much prefer the look of that. Well, that bears the Tommy face. Uh, I don't know, Henry always has that bit of a glint as if you're looking at Gordon. And I know that's going to bleed through to some of the stories from the rail. <laughs> look at this one here, Trackmaster 2 Henry. We want to look at your face, we don't want to look at your derail. The face there, what do you think? Yeah, I don't know which one's... Maybe the Trackmaster 2 Henry, I suppose it's the more modern face, isn't it? The more CGI face. That face versus... He's coming up to it here. Mmm, that face there. Tricky one, isn't it? Very tricky. Well, Trackmaster 2 Henry is really playing up. But sometimes, you know, things going wrong is all the fun. Well, I've seen what I wanted to see. I better turn this one off first. And we'll turn this one off as well. And we'll talk a little bit more about Henry. Well, I classify Henry and Gordon as two very important characters in Thomas and Friends in a funny sense they are related and it really seeds right back to the beginnings of the Railway series. Of course, this is the Henry which will be going to Nathan. I'm quite happy to let that one go. This is my Pull Tracks Gordon. I wouldn't let that one go to anyone because it's a little bit worse for wear. Uh, these are my son's taken plays. Uh, back when they were a little bit more sophisticated, to be the word I could use best. And this is Trackmaster 2, and I have could easily find lots of Gordons, but boy oh boy, to find Henry's is near impossible. In a toy industry that's addicted to uh, spruiking up a new version of something at the slightest change, I've got a funny feeling that Henry has been a little bit neglected. In fact, I think he's an extremely difficult engine to find. In the earlier railway series, um, there was a time when Henry's section here looked identical to Gordon's. In the Thomas and Friends DVD, The Adventure Begins, we certainly went back to the beginnings of Thomas and Friends. We're introduced to, well, a very different Soda Island back when things were a little bit different. Well, one thing they got totally wrong was the shape of Henry, and it caused outrage. They gave Henry the wrong shape. He looked like this. 
when he should have looked like Gordon. Now we won't go into any more detail, the fandom can explain that one. At least we were introduced to James, no pun intended, when he was black, but we also saw Thomas before he was blue, and he was green, and he had number 70 on the back. Well, there's nothing like a DVD to develop new characters, new toys, but The Adventure Begins really looked back on a lot of classic characters, basically redressed and done up in the old style, in a sense, it was lovely to see. But one real missed opportunity was seeing Henry in the way that he should have looked, and we already said he should have looked like this, but there was another missed opportunity. If I go up to these toys here, it's probably best explained. Uh, to do Henry in the way he looked, he could have just used Gordon's mould and put Henry's face on here. It would have been very simple to do. And, I don't know, swap the tenders around. And as long as that was green, that would have passed as the first version of Henry. Okay, but then there was another time, and this is where it's going to get confusing. There was one book, and the Adventure Begins sort of doesn't touch on this point, where Henry was blue. Oh my goodness me, it would, be, it would have caused tons of confusion and delay. Maybe that's why they didn't touch it. But once again, it would have been very simple to do, and you could have done it like this, and all you would have had to have done was put Henry's face here and put a number three on there. To me, it was a missed opportunity. Maybe the fanboys can explain why they didn't go there. I think the Railway Series book was called Edward, Gordon and Henry, and the TV series was Henry to the Rescue, but they never got to the point where Henry was changed into blue, which is what you see in the books. Yeah, so personally, I think Henry's been given short service because uh, Nathan's query about Henry has made me look very carefully at the toys. This is Nathan's Henry here, proudly drive it away. Notice you could drive them nicely, <laughs> the old timey ones, the new ones you can't do that with. Uh, these toys here are gonna keep in my toy collection because I need at least one example of everything. I would love to have given you one of these, uh, but I've only got one. Okay, extremely hard to find the Trackmaster 2 Henry. Maybe um, my audience can tell me a story whether they find it easy to find or not. I'm going to show you uh, one of the toys online that I noticed of Henry when he was in the colour change mode. Okay, this is the 60th anniversary Henry. It was a limited edition variant of Henry made to commemorate the Railway Series 60th anniversary. This variant was based off the moment in the first Railway Series book, The Three Railway Engines, where Henry was being painted blue. The package of this special variant also included the card with information on the book. Well, I was curious about this toy and how much you pay for it these days. Hmm, how much do you think it is on eBay? Let's take a look at some prices. Okay, here's one I found on eBay. Australian dollars, $212. Thank goodness it comes with free shipping. Here's another one on eBay, and it's only $41.81. Here's another one on eBay. It's US dollars, $138.43, and if I ship it to Australia, you can add another $54.32. What's going on there? Okay, here's another one on eBay. It says approximately $182.05. I dare say that's Australian, but in US dollars, that's $138.43. Thank goodness the shipping is free. And maybe this is a nice one to finish on. Nice reality check here. Here is a used one. That's the 60th anniversary, Henry. No bids, it was $12 US, and maybe the person has relisted it, uh, but buyer beware. I mean, seriously, buyer beware. I'm telling you now, just from seeing that, buying online can be so, so dangerous. Just by the back of this Trackmaster 2 diesel, let me show you the trains that were frequent versus uh, less frequent in store. Now, the first curious part to look in the back here, the most frequent character that gets left on the pegs is Toby. Mind you, he's not in that series of trains there. Let me quickly go through these. I'll just point out the ones which were hard to get. Okay, James was a little bit hard to get. There were lots of diesels. Uh, Gordon was sometimes troublesome. Diesel 10, definitely difficult to get this one. Hero, you had to look around very carefully. The same with Spencer. Henry was extremely difficult to find. Extremely difficult. Same with Victor was a bit of both, really. Edward... Yes and no, there were so many Percy's about, it wasn't funny, and there was, of course, so many Thomases, but hey, that's okay. You may have a totally different story to tell. I, I, I don't know what gets supplied to Australia, or all, all I know is there are some which are really hard to get. Uh, here is something else which I think is curious to look at. This is the Thomas Adventures 2017 chart, and I can tell you what, there are some of these which are massive peg warmers already, and there are some of them which are really hard to find. Okay, I've done a little secret thing to hold this up. I can't tell you how I've done that. It's called Blue Tack. Uh, the ones which I see sit on the pegs, well, that's weird to start off with. I've never seen that Thomas like that. It's like a celebration Thomas. Uh, she's a bit of a peg warmer. 
he is definitely a peg warmer because about Toby, you're useless. Okay, I've never seen Frankie. Uh, Stephen will be a peg warmer. Timothy is a definite peg warmer. I think Trevor's potentially a big one. Whatever this one here is, never seen it. Okay, Ryan isn't. Percy is so many Percy's is not funny. I don't know why. Harold seems to sell. Edward, of course, will sell. Connor seems to be selling. Flynn will be a potential peg warmer. Catelyn is okay. James is certainly okay as well. Henry is very hard to find, but I'm not surprised. Hero sells well. I think Hugo is popular. I've never seen this one. Gordon is always going to sell well. Then there's these super rare ones down here. I've never seen these in store. That still works. Hurricane looks fine. And so does that racing Ivan. Well, there is one thing that spooks me about this. There's a couple of things, actually. But the main thing that spooks me is, can you see it? Very few diesels in what's been released so far. So if you've skipped the video up to this point, naughty naughty, uh, what this video is about is giving this Henry to a boy called Nathan, who I met at St. Luke's train show. Nathan played with my son. They played trains for quite some time there while I made the video of the St. Luke's train show. Uh, that Henry is a wonderful Henry to give. He actually asked for the Trackmaster Classic Henry, which I didn't have. But Nathan's query about Henry made me look at this toy and how it has been short served, which is what I've been talking about in this video up to this point. Then my challenge was, well, how hard is it to go and buy Henry's and try and find as many Henry's in my collection to give Nathan because I thought I'll be nice to him, hey? Well, this is what I found. Let's take a look. And one revelation is finding Henry's is really hard. Let me sort this out. Okay, I've sorted out the Henry's in some sort of formal order. Hmm, it was very difficult to find this, and there's some really nice special ones in amongst this. Okay, possibly one of the most recent Henry's in relation to making this video, the Thomas Adventures Henry. I have found one, two, three of those. Another fairly recent Henry, the Thomas Minis Henry. Wow, I think that was right back on series one, although it does reappear. One, two, three, four, five. That would impress most people, but what impresses some people is DC Comics baby branded things. That one there is Henry, but I've got no idea what he's dressed up as. Well, the next one's a bit of an awkward Henry, but hey, if you're a Henry fan, you're going to like it no matter which way it comes. It's the checkout Thomas Henry. Yay! Strangely, I've only got one of these, but hey, maybe that's a very Henry thing. Before Thomas and Friends Adventures, there was Thomas and Friends Take and Play. Oh yeah, and there was a time when they had silly magnets that were really dumb. Now, in a strange way, these were some of the easiest Henrys to find because, well, they became peg warmers, and I think it's because of that silly magnet system. But hey, if you're a Henry collector, it makes it easy to make a collection, doesn't it? So, it was really easy to find these. Even found two talking versions as well, but I think they've been sitting on the pegs so long. They no longer talk. Funny that. Hey, but I found two of the talking ones. Yeah, Thomas and Friends take and play. Lots of them. Well, maybe it's time to pick off a bit of an ugly duckling here. Um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sort of happy to let this one go. It's the one up the back here. It's the Mega Blocks Henry. Oh, come on. Don't be so cruel, Leo. Yeah, who had one of these, hey? Um, I don't think my son played with this one very much. I can tell you that now. But it's going to a Henry Collector, and I'm really pleased about that. Well, sometimes they get it right, sometimes they get it wrong. We're going to move to a period of Thomas and Friends era, which was sort of fantastic. And I think we had that revelation once we saw how it got so distorted. This is Thomas and Friends Take Along. I've got the metallic one here. I'm pretty sure I picked that up at the Epi Model Railway Club in that $10 box. Please correct me if I'm wrong. It's going to go to a lovely home because I'm never going to use it. Plus, I've got another one here, which probably came down through the charity shop. Take along, there's a lot of metal in these, boy you can feel the quality, uh, sometimes the little wheels would come off them after the axles rusted a bit, that's about the only fault I could find with these, but hey they are two fantastic Henrys and they're going to a very very good home. Yes, just have a look over the metallic here. You can't keep your eyes off it when it looks so good, hey? It's a 2002 take along, mm, yeah, the glory days. Well, some people may argue the glory days of Thomas and Friends was back when Ertl were making the toys, and boy, oh boy, I've got two very extreme examples here. The first one I'm going to take a look at, man, I think this is one of the most beaten up Ertls that I've ever seen come through uh, from the charity shop. Look at it here. I'm sure I've featured it in one of my videos a while back. I'm glad it's going to a Henry Collector. I'm sure Nathan is going to look after this toy. I mean, someone's going to love it after the life that this one's had. Look at it. It's just beaten to nothing, really. But hey, this toy has been loved, and I love seeing toys that come through with so much damage. 
Yes, I'm sure there'll be people out there who remember Ertl's and they'd be banged up and dented like that around the die cast and the wheels would look shonky like that. Look at that. I mean, that is just total train mayhem, isn't it? But hey, there's something really nice about seeing a Thomas and Friends character so beaten up. We're going to go from one Ertl extreme to another, one very special one, one which is fairly close to my heart and maybe close to the audience's heart as well. Mmm, it's hiding up behind this wooden Henry here. Let me drive this one out. This one's going to a new owner. I think it needs to go to this new owner because this new owner loves Henry, hey? This is a Henry that I custom made. It used to be an Erdl in a sense because, well, the tender used to be joined on, but I did a custom cut there and join. I put HO wheels on this. I'm not going to mention the project that was developed for or else it's going to cause some fanboy rage. And as you can see, I've got a little spring in there as a coupling system. And there's one part of me which is saying, oh, Leo, don't let it go. And there's another very big part of me saying, Leo, let it go, move on. Uh, let someone who enjoys these trains have this one. Yes, I think uh, in a strange way, I shouldn't have cut it up and changed it because it was actually in mint condition, this Ertl here. But, well, now it's totally custom. The big argument about whether it's the right or wrong thing to do. But I'm sure Nathan is going to really enjoy that one. And you can have it being pushed along by a powered train on HO track. It runs perfectly fine. HOOO track. That's what all that wheel work was for. Yeah, uh, Nathan's going to love that one, I'm sure. Well, we're getting down to the last ones. We've sort of already spoken about this one right at the start of the video and through the majority of the video. But hey, let's talk about these two here. These are like a little play rail. Thomas's they used to come from little machines that were in the shopping centres. I have not seen them for years. They could have either been $4, $3 or $2, depending on the season of the year. I've only got two Henrys, and I think it's very worthwhile that these go to Nathan. They're a little bit unusual because some of these didn't have uh, wind-up motors in them. These were just like push-along models, but now, from what I've seen, the way children play, there's nothing wrong with trains that just push along. Okay, next one. Well, it's a bit of a classic Thomas Wooden Railway, although it's Henry. Okay, it's got some love in it. I don't mind. Look at that. I've looked at the date on this one under the wheels, 2003. Maybe some people could just tell by looking at the way it's been ID'd on the bottom there. Nevertheless, it's going to a lovely new owner, someone who loves Henry's. That's the most important thing. It was just going to sit in a toy box at my place and do absolutely zero. And on the thought of Thomas Wooden Railway Henry's, this is what I found, and I struggled to find this, and I go to lots of stores in Sydney. These are the more recent ones, which have the awkward CGI face, which I don't think are that nice, well, you know, versus the ones that came before. Funny how they change things, and sometimes it's not for the better. Well, there's the two different Henrys on top of each other. The top one says 2013, the bottom one's 2016. But where it really falls apart is when you look up this end here. There's the earlier one, 2013, just remember that, and then we'll go down to the uh, more recent one. Why have they changed it? Why? The back of the box artwork also shows the big change. Hmm. I don't know, it seems to me a backward move. Maybe you can see it differently. So from a small boy called Nathan who asked me to uh, find one Henry for him of a particular sort, which I sort of, well, nearly got there, I was able to find him a whole box and expose to me the whole thing about Henry. But hey, I can do better than that. That's basically round one. Let's move into round two. Well, there is a rubber chicken. Make noises like that. But what I found for Nathan is a stunningly beautiful Hornby Henry. And boy, oh boy, was that hard to find. Well, it's very tricky to see in there, but I'm not going to unbox it. It's for Nathan to unbox and enjoy, and I'm sure he's going to love this because I know he plays with this scale of train. And yes, I was trying to find the Bachmann version. I couldn't find it. Hey, on the flip side, this is what it looks like. They're the main engines that were available. It was all copyright 2015. Thomas sold very hard and fast. The rolling stock, some of it was very hard to get. Mind you, some of it seemed to sit in store for a long time. I'm not going to name the store because they never give me a discount. There's no value in, in helping people out because they give you nothing back. Because I'm a bit of a toy hoarder, I can also um, offload these to Nathan as well. I'm sure he's going to enjoy them. <laughs> okay. Cuddly. Someone said to me, if you ever see a cuddly, go and buy it. Okay, I saw it, so I bought it. Uh, Gold Thomas, the cheapest ones I was picking up. Guess where it was at? I shouldn't name the store, should I? If I've got RS on the back, you know what that means? The reject shop. There were so many of these... Uh, that were sort of floating around. People say, oh, but they're rare and special. No, they weren't. Okay. Um, this one was a nice one, uh, but lots of those in store. Okay. Very nice. 
going through these nice and quick. Uh, that one there, the Treasure Thomas, I think that's a stunner. I'm sure Nathan's going to love it. I also like this one. I like anything Thomas, if you notice that. Yeah, okay. Uh, Thomas Minis, these ended up being uh, a dime a dozen in a sense. For a while there, they were extremely hard to find, but now they're not, which is nice. Um, yes, I like Thomas, but we also like Diesel. You've got to have the other end of the equation, as always, don't you? Okay, that'll be a nice addition to have. Maybe you can paint it green and call it a, a Henry. <laughs> Okay, I've had this floating around forever. I don't think I need it. I think someone else needs it, so Nathan's going to enjoy that. Uh, these Thomas Mini sets here. Okay, I don't need to explain what's going on there. You can see what's in there. They've been extremely popular, Thomas Minis. I think they're the best small toy about, collectible small toy about, but I'll be biased because I like the Thomas Strange stuff, eh? Uh, this one here was a very curious find. In fact, the next two were very curious. Um, I saw a lot of these in store which didn't sell, and I picked this up. I'll show you the price. Okay, I'm not embarrassed by how much I paid. I didn't pay $44.95. I didn't pay $30. I paid half of $30. It was a, uh, Well, it was Myers when they do their 50% off the already marked off price. So that's starting to show you how much they're really worth, and they was, well shelf sitters a lot of those were and so was this one you're gonna say well what do you mean Leo? this is popular this is rare well i saw these start off at about 70 dollars and then there was a toy store at chatswood called toy mate and they were selling them for 30 dollars and i think that was a pretty good price i have seen them online the cheapest i've seen it is 24 dollars in australia it's probably getting down to what they were selling for in the usa but initially uh, a toy like that was a 70 dollar toy Seeing this uh, dumped at what I classified as a fairly low price was a bit of a curious thing, I can tell you. Well, I haven't finished yet. Uh, that's the pile of toys going to Nathan. Let's do a little bit extra. If I show you that much of a toy box, do you know what this toy is? Mm, I might have to get back a bit. Ah, uh, yes, I got for Nathan the wonderful interactive Tracy Island. Uh, my son has one of these. He loves playing with it. He doesn't use the sound technology with it, which is a bit curious to see, but I wasn't at all surprised. Uh, but you sort of got to go and buy the Thunderbird craft as well, so I was able to pick up these when they were on special. Um, I like buying stuff on special, it's sort of wired into me, probably from my mum, taught me that little lesson in life. Uh, there's Thunderbird 1, okay, Thunderbird 3, which I don't quite like the way the arms fold forward, but hey, I'm a bit old fashioned, you know. And I've got Fab 1 here as well, and the one that I couldn't find, and they didn't seem to have very many in store, was... Um, Thunderbird S. Hmm, what's that telling me about Thunderbird S? That's funny, I did see Thunderbird S in store and I thought it's not going to sell, but uh, it sold very well. I think Thunderbird S is actually quite popular. And the funny thing about this Tracy Island toy is it accommodates, of course, Thunderbird 1 and Thunderbird 2, Thunderbird 3, and sort of Thunderbird 4 here. But there's sort of no accommodation for Thunderbird S uh, down in the island. So from going to a train show and meeting a young boy who asked me for one toy, and I'm sort of giving him, well, sort of the thing he asked for, uh, Nathan gets a whole ton of other things as well. And what I liked about this was uh, Nathan made me look at Henry and the character and the toys very closely, and I was thinking, what's going on here? And the more I looked, the more I got perplexed, and I started to learn things, and maybe you've learned things along the way. Maybe you can tell me more about Henry that I don't know. But it does worry me for the fact I think it's a little bit underdeveloped in the toy realm. I've made this prize so grand because I'm very late in delivering it to Nathan. I'm basically six months late. And he probably thought with his mum, boy, Leo promised me this simple toy, but he never turned up with it. But boy, oh boy, Nathan, when I rock up at your place with this stuff here, hopefully you're going to be very happy. I'm sure you're going to really look after my Henry collection, and it's going to a very worthwhile person. Well, I hope you learned something about Henry in this video. Uh, if I've missed out any important information, please let me know, and I'd better leave this video here and deliver this stuff to Nathan.